Alliance is on this side of the Green Guardian. Thanks. Okay. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother! Trap? I haven't agreed to anything yet. Let's not go patting ourselves on the back. Okay, okay. But listen. Travis would get great confidence from winning bar fight, yes? <laughs> You've been in... I'm not some thug. I don't get involved in stuff like that. Ugh. What if it was for good cause? I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing to... Right. I want you to be there to... Gonna need some more information. Okay. I have this all thought out. I have contacts, people I can count on, real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. One hundred cops. I thought Travis was your friend. Isn't he worth more than that? Do not think I miss your attempt to manipulate me. Fine. Two hundred cops. All right. I'm in. Ah! Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening. Have a nice day. Hey, Yefim. Just don't throw up all over my floors. You look tired. Need a room? All right. Here. Room two is yours. Uh -huh. liquor moonshiners can brew right here not right now you sure oh well <clears throat> look, look look i don't want any trouble i don't like you and i don't like your radio what you gonna do about it <laughs> yeah hey there pal I'm, I'm only here for a drink oh it's you you need to grow a spine pal I didn't ask for this. I don't. I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. You could have fooled me. Okay, that's... well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You... Say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Hmm, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, uh, 
I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Starting to have fun. What the hell is wrong with you? You were supposed to help Travis in fight. Why would you? about I don't like you hey there, I don't pal. Like your oh, radio it's you what you gonna do about you need it? to grow a spine pal I, I didn't ask for this I'm just trying to have a drink I don't I have no idea what I did to deserve this I just wish they'd go away come on man take a stand don't chicken out here I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that Thing that you're describing <laughs> with these men it could well it, it, it could turn violent don't be such a coward I'm not a coward oh. okay that's you well that is telling the truth that's enough about the oh I'm sorry you say something He's kept I said I said that's enough. Come, come, come. Leave me alone. That means he's working for me. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Mm, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh -huh. I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Get lost. Uh. This ain't over. You hear me? Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it! In the future, never doubt me. Yeah, I guess not. But still, I, I mean, I never thought I could do that. I just never... I just never thought I had it in me. I, I need some time to think about this. Thanks, so. though. For, for helping and for, well, for believing in me. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? The last part wasn't so foolproof. You are alive, Travis is alive, everything is fine. 
and next part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. It will work. Trust me. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. The wall's sure looking good lately. Guess Abbott found some more pain. Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Looks nice. Miss? I'm on a break right now. I don't want anything. Okay. Is there something else, then? Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... well, he was brave. Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. This better be an emergency. Not today. Fine. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of bugs. Hey, your theme. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Would you calm down? I can't understand a damn thing. I can't calm down. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Hey, man, this... Please. I'm begging you. He's my only brother. I know he's stupid, but... He's family. I can't lose him. Talk to Travis. Maybe he know. No 
funny business. What's going on? Where the hell is Bull? That asshole from the dugout? He's taken Vadim. What? Come on, that... That's not funny. I'm not screwing around here, Travis. I need to know right now. You're not... You weren't choking? Oh... Oh, man. Wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... Uh -huh. Yeah, this is absolutely your fault. And it's on your head if something happens to Vadim. Oh, man. I can't believe... Right? Yeah, you screwed this one up good, Travis. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing... Or in trouble... Mm -hmm. This isn't something you want to get involved in. But... I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the sign.
Thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. You're okay, right? Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. This isn't going to end well. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. You shoot first, ask questions later. Got it? Yeah. Yeah! <sighs> Let's get him! need that stuff anymore. <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are true friend. You're an idiot for dealing with these goons in the first place. Fine. Was not smartest move ever, but all is better now. <laughs> <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and promise, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get broke? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Hey there. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. I hope so. I'm tired of that shitty, whiny attitude. Yeah, yeah. I know. If you know, then do something about it. Act like a man, for God's sake. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, 
Thanks again. I owe you. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change through the end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. So, uh, there's a bit of uh, news. Well, more of a, you know, a uh, rumor. person in a, uh, a vault suit? I mean, coming out of vault 111? It's the vault 111 part that's weird, I guess, right? I mean, it's not, it's not like no one's ever seen a vault suit before. I, I just... Well, anyway, uh, you get the idea.
Okay, that's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an Allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable the fences, make way. Midshipmen, stand down. Stand down, I say. This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Hey, robot. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Try that, and you'll be nothing but scrap metal, pal. Give a word, Captain, and I'll send them to Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Uh, is this for real? Threat detected. Awaiting permission to terminate target. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! I, Captain, standing down. Standing down. Patrolling. Hold up. I think we need to talk. I hope nothing's wrong. Wrong? No. Not at all. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. Did you make this yourself? Do I look like the artistic type to you? My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. The soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. Hey, I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. I took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. I was hoping what we have together could be more than friendship. I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I never thought of us that way. What about your husband? I know he's gone, but... You still love him, don't you? That's the past. You are all that matters to me now. I... I don't know what to say. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings on the table. Now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. For once in my life, everything's going right. And I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you. You're listening to, uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If, if you're listening at all. Elton Britt is next with a song that, well, frankly, it sounds very irresponsible for several reasons. Here's Uranium Fever.
I'll have none of your lit, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Are you broken? Why, why the hell are you talking like that? The quaint vulgarity of the common soldier. It warms the circuits. This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Are you crazy? Do you even know what year it is? Do not mistake my genteel manner for derangement, madam. I am fully aware that it is the year of our Lord 2287. You didn't explain why you're talking like that. Look around you. In these times of great unrest, is it not prudent to adopt the manner of a more civilized time? If that answer is not to your satisfaction, I'm afraid you must make your peace with it. Why are you even here? On this ship, it's... it's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command your lookout told me to come up here why I confess we need your assistance you visit this fine vessel in trying times he calmed these long years on her airy perch damn you Weatherby savings alone I spit at you you should just abandon the ship yeah I don't see the point you're sitting on the Commonwealth's most obvious target. It is not in my character, madam, to retreat simply because the odds are great. I will persevere. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but Morats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you? I expect part of the payment, up front. What a singular request. Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But, as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's person. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. Few warning shots. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! 
Wounded soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. I didn't know helping you guys would turn me into a target. Warning redundant. Entire Commonwealth region is classified as extremely dangerous. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. By human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Mm -hmm. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use. shoot those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders they weren't trying to frag ya anyhow they just wanted to kill the frickin robots so some of your guys almost got me killed we told those crazy assholes not to attack it's not our fault all right when they saw you waltz right into the constitution they just went ballistic how did you get aboard anyway He knew I was an American, so he drafted me. America? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage. The real motherload. Just waiting to be stripped and sold. So it all boils down to greed. Like it always does. Hey, if we sell those gizmos, uh, I don't know, they could help orphans and stuff. Us humans could use it a lot more than those robots. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Your men took something from him. He wants it back. Well, that's too bad. It's our salvage now. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. Well, here's a, uh, I guess it's a... He didn't tell me that. Of course he didn't, because he's off his damned rocker. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with her. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This lady's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Those vault dwellers showed up and gave him a hand. Yeah. I'm in. What's the plan? Yeah, that ship is basically the last train to Crazy Town. That's the right call. I've been working this claim for months. Like hell, I'm letting this greenhorn take any of my caps. We got no choice. We need her, Davies. We need to sabotage those rockets. If they blow up, that'll put those frigging cannons offline. So if you find any rocket parts for the tin can, Give them to me first, then Davy. Mm hmm. You better not double cross me. Trust is a two way street. The guidance chip is in one of the filing cabinets inside. Mandy. You got any of the tin can's parts? Let's see if we can give him a little surprise. 
I got nothing. Well, hurry up. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Is every robot on this tub broken? I confess, I may be missing a few parts that are considered standard on my model. But broken? I should say not. A last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, madam. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll see what I can do about your cables. Offer you my anxiety emulators, lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. And this is the part where I bail you out again. Soldier's statement is factually valid. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, madam. This is our claim. Clear out, Civvy. Hey, Mandy. Find anything? I'm working on it. Well, work. Mm -hmm.
Smith, everybody. Ray. So here's something that happened in the Commonwealth that I have overheard from two people who I do not believe were drunk. There was that old uh, asylum parson, right? And it was creepy. And everyone knew to uh, stay away from it. Well, I guess I mean, this part of it. And I thought it was weird. Raiders attacked the place. I don't, I, I, just, I don't know why. But okay, 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 okay. The weird part, so now, Parsons is, uh, it's abandoned. Like, totally. So I guess, I mean, something must have happened, right? Must have been pretty serious. <laughs> but maybe. That's, uh, that's the news. Back to the, uh, ha! Back to the music. Wynoni Harris had a grandma that gambled, I guess, so he, uh, Bingo. he wrote a song about it. And I'm not just talking about it, I intend to play it. So, here it is. Mandy. Find anything? Hey, Mandy. Find anything? I have something here. Let me see. Looks like some kind of radar part. Not much I can do with this. Might as well hand it over to the rust bucket. But if you find something else, drop by here first. System fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. Bosun requires further assistance, madam. Mr. Navigator? Current speed zero knots.
Hey. Well, here's that ammo. Your thoughts? Everything's going to be all right, as long as we stick together. How do you feel about our relationship? Pretend I'm walking this earth with you until the day I die. I give you enough of a clue? Nothing else I needed. All right. through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems, long starved, flick out to life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Can't you fix anything yourself? Your criticism squarely hits the mark, madam. I fear the butcher spill is many a fine Mr. Handy on its list. I entreat you to aid us once more. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following scenes. Warning, overdue for me. This would be a great spot to bunk it down. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need, and sell everything you do. Do you have any paying work? Yeah, I have. Caravan is just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the Northern Road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that and... I'm not doing the job for chump change. I'm tired of Merck's blowing this off. Are ferals really that scary? Fine. Call it 175 caps. Sounds like you need me a lot more than I need you on this. Everyone comes into the hill thinking they can pull one over on me. I'm thinking 150 caps is more than fair. I already cleared the National Guard training yard. Well, I'll be. Take... Uh -huh. Hey. Hey you can. Step right up. A little bit of everything. Uh, sure. Mean, everything uh, is so the big green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's Diamond City Radio. This is a song about easy living. Just just like here in Diamond City, am I right? Don't answer. 
Come on, just leave it. Hi, I'm... Hi there. Hi, I'm Meg. Are you new to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. This is our claim. Clear out, Sivvy. Mandy. Find anything? I have something here. Let me. Mm -hmm. That there is a power relay coil. Shit, nothing I can do with that. Keep looking, there's gotta be. Hey there. It would be better for all of us if you just leave. Indeed we are. I require no further assistance. The kitten requests your presence on... Mm -hmm. Captain Ironsides. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. I'm glad that the scavengers and I could work something out. And I am as well. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. I thought I was finally done with this. We are defined by the caliber of challenges we choose to undertake. So attack adversity with gusto. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed.
unexpected bit of news. I heard that a group of soldiers... Is it knights? Soldier? Constabulary? What are we calling them now? Eh. Soldiers from the Brotherhood of Steel were spotted in the Commonwealth. Sounds like they were, uh... Well, they were kind of in trouble at the Cambridge Police Station. They were in pretty bad shape for a while. You're making that look easy. But... The vault dweller showed up and gave him a hand or a gun. Or some the vault dweller helped them is what I'm trying to say. Guess they'll probably be on their way soon then. Right? Oh, we're gonna die! Oh! The five stars are up next, singing about the lake. Uh, I guess maybe one of them. I can patch you up if you need it, for a small fee. Hey, Need over here. If you can find a way to get to that, then you better show me. Move here. Are you kidding? I here. Get to Forget it. There's no way to get there. Head over there. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm reaching that. Go there. Yep. That's impossible to reach. I'm not a magician, you know. That's it?
Time to go already? Face the day. 